I wrote this about Clever Lang and Rocky Balboa and Ivan Drago. Um, it's an inspiration for anybody who's fighting. So if you're a fighter out there, I may God bless you. And I hope that you win your fight. May God bless your combat. May God bless your training. So if you don't win the fight, that you can train and beat the person the second time. I ask that God you please bless anybody who's watching. My name is Jarrell Bracken. I'm a professional fighter. And this is a Fight Church. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I stand before you today to share a story of triumph, resilience, and the indomitable human spirit. It is the tale of how one man, Rocky Balboa, harnessed the power of determination and learned from his adversaries to overcome strength, to overcome seemingly insurmountable challenges. Today, I bring you a speech that draws inspiration from the epic battles that Rocky faced, specifically his encounters with Clover Lang and Ivan Drago. In the ring, Clever Lang was a force to be reckoned with. His ferocity and raw power struck fear into the hearts of his opponents. But Rocky, with his unyielding spirit, lost to Clever Lang the first time and then came back and beat him a second time. He studied his techniques, he honed his skills, and he adopted a new level of determination that allowed him to be able to overcome his opponent. He recognized that sometimes the greatest lessons come from our adversaries. In that same movie, he also was able to acquire Apollo Creed as a friend. That is also another thing that can happen with combat sports people all the time. We have a tendency of, of looking at our greatest rivals and saying, hey, that could be my best friend and be totally okay with it. As the world watched and all, Rocky faced an even greater challenge in the form of Ivan Drago. Drago, an imposing figure, he represented not just an opponent, but the embodiment of a whole nation's strength and supremacy. Yet Rocky understood that true power lies not in physical mind alone, but in the power of the human spirit. The ability for him to go and take all of Clover Lang's techniques and training alone, and doing sit-ups and doing pushing, 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 whatever he needed to do to make himself what he needed to be during the fourth movie is what he did. That's in line with what Clover did in the third movie to be Drew. Rocky in the first place. He took that, put it together, and made himself a little bit better. Now let's draw inspiration from the Word of God as we reflect on God, Rocky's journey and the biblical truths that resonate with it. Here are five quotes. I want to be really clear about these. So, Proverbs 24 16 reminds us For a righteous man falls seven times and he rises again, but the wicked are overthrown by calamity. Rocky experienced defeat, but he refused to stay down. Rocky embraced the spirit of resilience, knowing that every fall is an opportunity to rise even higher. In Philippians chapter 4, 13, we read, I have strength for all things in Christ who empowers me. I am ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses inner strength into me. I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. Rocky found strength not just in his own abilities, but to a higher power. He tapped into the wellspring of inner strength, knowing that faith, all things are possible. Isaiah chapter four, t eh, Isaiah chapter forty-one, verse ten declares, "Fear not, for there is nothing to fear. For I am with you. Do not look around you in terror and be dismayed. For I am your God. I will straighten and harden you to difficulties." Rocky faced fear head on, refusing to be paralyzed by it. Rocky drew strength and courage from the realization that he was never alone. He was a power greater than himself guiding his steps. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 reminds us, lean on, trust in, and be confident in the Lord with all of your heart and mind, and do not rely on your own insight and understanding. And always know, recognize, and acknowledge him, and he will direct and make straight and plain your paths. Rocky understood the importance of surrendering to a higher plan. Rocky trusted in divine purpose, knowing that his path was being guided by forces beyond his comprehension. Lastly, in 2 Timothy 1, 7, we find the words of encouragement that say, For God did not give a spirit of timidity, of cowardice, of craving, of cringing, and fawning in fear, but he has given us a spirit of power and love and of calm and of a well-balanced mind and of discipline and of self-control. Rocking based the spirit of spirits of power and love and self-control, he channeled his emotions into focus, using them to overcome the odds. Let the story of Rocky Balboa inspire everybody. I think that you should learn from this journey and apply those biblical principles and truths to our lives. May you rise above your adversaries. May you draw strength from your falls. May you trust in higher power 
my Lord Jesus. May you embrace the spirit of power and of love and of self-control. Just as Brock is victories from the rocks and rain, you can overcome the challenges that you face as well. I just like thank you for listening in on my first, um, my first sermon. Oh my gosh, this is the first sermon that I did for Fight Church. Um, I'm gonna do a edit of this later and re-upload it with some text and some videos and stuff. So. My name is Jarrell Bracken, I'm a professional boxer. Today is June 15th, 2013, no, 2023. I'm fighting Joshua Flores in Shelbyville, Kentucky on Saturday. Um, it's gonna be a knockdown, drag out fight, and I'm here to make sure that you guys get your money's worth if you come to see it or if you see it online. It's gonna be through Troy Eskridge Productions.